Hey there, so today I thought to do a day in the life video as a software engineer. If you don't know me, um, my name's Saga and I currently work as a software engineer at Accenture in London. And so I thought, you know, let me just film basically what I do on a Friday starting from this morning. So right now it is like one minute to eight. So yeah, pretty much eight o'clock and uh, I'm just having breakfast. So yeah, for breakfast, I got something pretty, pretty basic. I mean, I've just got some toast and some oat milk. So that should um, be a decent breakfast, I think. Um, I mean, generally I don't do much when I'm eating breakfast. I just normally watch some YouTube videos and just enjoy my breakfast. And then um, I guess by the time I finish, it'll be time to start work. So it's about 8.20 now and um, well, I finished my breakfast. Uh, now I'm basically going to do some, I guess, revision. Some learning, yeah. Uh, I'm basically about AWS because uh, I'm working to basically complete my um, solution architect exam soon, hopefully. So that is what I'm going to use. I use um, this software, well, this platform called A Cloud Guru, um, which is provided by work. Well, it's all paid for by work, and um, it just has a basic, like, ton of videos related to this exam, and in essence, helps you um, pass the exam. Okay, so I basically finished watching those videos. Well, not all of them, some of them, but it is now nine o'clock, so time to actually get started with some real work. Um, so I think this morning what I'm gonna do is have a look at some of the pull requests I've made before, um, seeing if there's any notes of what I need to change with the code that I've written. Um, and yeah, I, bet, I guess um, re-upload uh, re the pull requests, I suppose. So that is what I'm going to do. Um, at the moment I am working with React um, and mostly fixing like UI defects and so on. So that's in essence what I'll be doing. Um, and I will check in with you after I've done that. Okay, so I basically, I made a change on um, the code that I've been asked to do. Um, and the process that we have in our project, right, is whenever you make a pull request and, well, open a pull request on GitHub, you basically have to send the link to the other developers in the team um, via Slack and then hopefully two of them approve it and then actually we have this whole automated system so it tests the code like autonomously through um, a software called Jenkins and um, then it checks whether the version's correct, um, if it matches or if it passes any of the unit tests and so on. So it's really cool in the sense where there's not someone there manually testing the code all the time, it's just all automatically done. Because as you can imagine, this is quite a big project, right? And you have a lot of developers working at the same time and you have a lot of code to test. So having to test code manually is gonna be so long and just laborious. So that's in essence what I'm gonna do next, just basically send um, the pull request link onto the chat and hopefully other people can approve it and be like, yeah, you did some good code. So all my um, pull requests that I have to fix up are now fixed. Hopefully they get merged to the main code base soon. I mean, we have a thing where you put um, a tag on your pull request called auto merge. And if, if you do that, then some bot basically goes through and automatically merges it once you have all the approval and all the um, Jenkins automated tests have been passed. I mean the time now is like what quarter to quarter to ten So I think what I'm gonna do now is just have a look at um, Jira so Jira is like this platform we use where we log all the defects that need to be fixed So I'll have a look on there see if there's any defects that are assigned to me and I guess just work through them to be honest um, That's what my role is predominantly on this team at the moment. So that's what I'm gonna do um, and Jira in essence is like um, I guess, I don't know how to best describe it, but in essence you basically have a, a ton of cards on there called tickets and each of them describes like a problem for you to solve, so you basically have to work through them if, they're, if the card is assigned to you and then you can, um, you know, mark it whether it's like in progress and testing and so on, so it's just a, a neat way to really just log all the problems that you have in the, the thing you're developing and then all your other developers can be like, oh look, there's a problem, let me just go fix it. Okay, so it's like nearly 10 and um, I have this meeting called New Faster Stronger Cheaper Dev Guild. This meeting is basically like within my project that I'm working on but um, I don't think it's like a really technical one. I think it's kind of informal. Maybe just uh, like a, a Friday morning sort of talking about tech and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I'll go to that one and basically have a listen as to what other people are saying because there's going to be more like senior developers and engineers in there so 
be good to learn some stuff from them potentially. Um, or I might just end up like being bored out of my head and just leaving. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I mean, hopefully it's good. But um, yeah, I guess uh, that's that's going to be the entertainment for this morning, to be honest. So there we have it. That's my first meeting of the day completed, where I basically said not a single word. Um, I mean, to be honest, it was all stuff to do with the project, which I had no clue about because I mean, I'm pretty much new to this project, and other people have been on this project for like three years. So. Yeah, um, there was a lot of stuff being said in things I didn't really know about, so it was okay. It was um, not too boring. I mean, who am I kidding? I was falling half asleep, but uh, we move. Um, but yeah, okay, let's get back to actually some fun coding stuff that I need to do. So I'll pick um, something from Jira and work on that in the meantime. Okay, so it's nearly lunchtime, but um, I have managed to solve another defect. So I'm able to make a, a cheeky pull request now. So check this out over here. Look at that. We have um, a sweet pull request I can open up and uh, send it to the other dev leads to check out how, uh, how good the code is and hopefully it gets merged. Okay, so it's now basically time to eat. So I'm kind of hungry about an hour or so until I have to get back at to find some code again but uh, yeah so let's go make some food I don't know what I'm gonna be eating but let me have a look so let's have a have a dig around what we have here I might have a flatbread because uh, I have some flatbread I've got some tomatoes and uh, feta cheese on it which will be kind of cool uh, let's see what flatbread I have maybe this one might be good some uh, garlic and parsley crap for the flatbread. Let's have some of that. So here we are with my exquisite uh, lunch here. So I have um, a nice flatbread with some feta cheese on top and also some um, roasted um, tomatoes and sprinkled with a bit of pepper. So it's gonna be a really tasty lunch and uh, looking forward to eating this. And I shall, I guess I'll begin recording my other stuff after I have eaten my lunch. So I will see you then. So that's my uh, lunch over with and it's back to work. I actually I got a message on my Teams chat uh, about setting up an account basically for the project that I'm on. So I think that's probably what I'm gonna work on next, just trying to get that all set up because hopefully I get to do some AWS stuff, which will be cool to actually build infrastructure or at least like work on the infrastructure side of things. Cool, so that was pretty easy to set up um, my AWS account. I also had to do the two-factor authentication, so I have my phone as like the, um, I guess, a sec yeah, the second authentication device, so I can type, if I find a code that comes on my phone, and I can just type it in when I'm a, whenever I'm logging in. So um, yeah, now I have access to the non-production AWS environment because I mean they're not going to give me production environment. Otherwise, I could mess things up completely, which would not be great for me or the client or Accenture. So look at that! I am now in the AWS management console, which is pretty cool. I'm just having a look at some of my um, pull requests, and it looks like I have some um, edits I do need to make by the in the code. So that's what I'm going to do from now. I mean, this what is it? It's like 1:13 p.m. So um, yeah, that's what I'm just gonna work on from now and I'll also have a look at some other Jira tickets to see if there's any I can do. So that should be hopefully taking me to the end of the day when we have our daily stand up but we shall see what happens in the meantime. Cool, so I made those changes to the um, GitHub repository that I needed to, well not repository but like the pull request should I say. So that's all sorted out. I um, put like the auto merge tag on so hopefully it all goes through um, but now one of my teammates have actually asked me for help, so I thought, you know, I'm gonna just help them out, to be honest. So um, that's all sort out. Um, I think they need some help with pushing stuff to GitHub or something, or maybe some ESLint stuff. So I will give them a hand and uh, hopefully help them solve the problem they're having. So um, I'm gonna also help someone else as well on uh, my team. So yeah, trying to, I think, help them route some of their React components to uh, another section on the screen. So yeah, I'm gonna head do that. So I mean, I basically helped the two people on my project with the stuff they needed to do. 
and well at the moment I don't have a lot to actually work on at this point in time and I also kind of want a break so I'm gonna I guess have a chat with one of my workmates and uh, see what they're up to so um, yeah I mean their, their project is actually pretty cool um, and she's super busy uh, like we're doing her project stuff so definitely more interesting than mine at the moment anyway but uh, we'll see what they're getting on with. Hello again. So the time is now like half three. Um, and yeah, so I, I've, been, I've been speaking to some of my teammates and one of the team leads we have. Um, and basically I have to try and refine one of my pull requests a bit more because the design of the front page is not looking quite right. So I need to try and work on that. Um, yeah, so I'll probably be working on that for a bit. Um, I anticipate I'm going to have a few problems with it, but uh, you know, we'll see how we go. So that's that's going to be, yeah, my work pretty much from now, maybe till the end of the day, but yeah, I don't know, we'll have to see. So we're basically at the end of the day and it's like 5.30 now, but I do have a final stand-up meeting, um, basically going over what me and my team have done in the project today. So that is what's going to be happening from now until 6, at which then I can log off and do whatever I want so that is yeah that's what's basically gonna happen from now and that is basically a wrap of what a normal day as a software engineer at Accenture looks like um, and it is what like quarter to six normally I would finish um, at six but we couldn't have a full end of day stand up today but it is what it is so thanks for joining me on this uh, hopefully exciting journey throughout my work day um, and see you in another video but if you do want to also figure out kind of like what the training was like at Accenture do check out this other video I have over here.